Joining us now, National Border Patrol Council President is Brandon Judd. Brandon, it's great to see you again. What was your reaction when you heard the Supreme Court ruled the president can get rid of Trump's remain in Mexico policy? I was extremely disappointed. We need we need as much help as we can possibly get. We were certainly hoping that the courts were going to give us that help. If the courts would have ruled in favor of um, keeping return in Mexico in place, that would have shown a spotlight on the issue, and it would have forced the mainstream media to cover this issue. But if the mainstream media is not going to cover this issue, if they're not going to tell the public, the, the American people, what's actually going on, then President Biden's going to continue to act like he's acting. And we're going to continue to see this chaos over and over again. And, you know, the Homeland Security, Brandon, already in March warned if Remain in Mexico goes away, we're, we could see up to 18,000 illegal crossings daily, every day, if this happened. I mean, that, that's the equivalent of letting in a Sacramento every month. Yeah, there's a number of things that President Trump put in place that, that worked really, really well. And one was Remain in Mexico and the other one was Title 42. And this administration, through executive order and prosecutorial discretion, they're getting rid of both of them. And so we just don't have those tools anymore on the border to control what's currently going on. And if we can't control what's going on, we're going to continue to see deaths. Look, that incident that happened in that tractor trailer, that was horrific. But that was just one incident. We have had over 509 deaths in this fiscal year alone. We set a record last year, and we're on pace yeah. to shatter that record this year. And Central American officials and people from South America warn that if you come to America illegal, illegally, thousands, thousands die every year along the route because human and drug traffickers treat them like cargo or commodities. It's really harsh terrain. They die from heat exhaustion or they don't have water or the like. But MSNBC, to your point, Brandon, said this whopper that they're trying to blame Border Patrol for the death of those 53 illegal immigrants. Watch this. Right now, what you're going to hear is it's the smugglers' fault. The smugglers have been bringing people over in all of the entirety of the time that I've been covering this story. And you didn't used to hear these kinds of stories, these kinds of deaths. This is, in fact, a result of the police state that exists now along the U.S.-Mexico border in general. We've seen increased brazenness by cartels that feel empowered because we do not have a federal government that's pushing back against those cartels and their illegal activity. There's a perfectly legal way that people can immigrate to the United States of America. It's that legal pathway, Mr. President, that you must insist upon. And if you do that, you will have a role in reducing the loss of life. So, Brandon, take on that MSNBC guest who blamed the deaths of the 53 illegal immigrants on border uh, security. They absolutely make me sick. The lies that they're willing to tell the American public to continue this, to cover for President Biden, it, it's sickening. It's, it's monstrous what they're currently doing. They won't have people like me on their show because they know darn good and well that I'll be able to give fact after fact after fact to prove that all they're doing is lying to the American public. The truth is, is we have always seen tractor trailers being used. Um, they've always been this desperate. The problem is, is right now, the smugglers have complete control. They know that they can flood our resources, and we just can't detect these tractor trailers. We were able to detect them much, much better um, under in the past under President Trump and even under President Obama. This is crazy talk, and it's monstrous what they're doing. They're just encouraging more death, more chaos on the border. You know, no country in the world allows anyone to just walk across the border. Countries in South America don't allow that, and Central America either. You can't just walk into a nation. It's against the law to do that. So, you know, to hear these pundits not reporting how seriously dangerous it is to come here illegally, it just feels really off the wall. It, it, it is off the wall. It's even illegal to enter into Mexico the way these people are entering. But right now what we're seeing is we're seeing the cartels bringing billions of dollars into the economy in Mexico. So the government just turns a blind eye to what's going on. But what's sad is, like you said, we're turning a blind eye. We're encouraging this. It's our policies that are pushing all of this. If you want to look at the root cause, all you have to do is look at catch and release. Catch and release is the root cause that is driving all of this illegal immigration today. Brandon Judd, thanks for joining us. Come back soon.